Hi everyone and welcome back to part two as I continue to take a look at the fourth Doctor range from Big Finish. My recommendations to you, as I say, it's down to you if you purchase them or not. It's solely down to you. These are my recommendations from the fourth Doctor range. And I am now focusing on Romana Two, played by Lala Ward. In this video, so let's get straight on with it, and we start off with the final two-parter, which finishes off the big story arc involving Cuthbertson and the Columbert. And this is where it starts off, the route with this one, the pursuit of history. Um, it's sort of okay-ish, <laughs> uh, average, but I think the the final wrap-up story to this big story arc, Casualties of Time, is good, and it wraps it all up, and that's the end of the. Was it uh, two fours? Yes, yeah, a six-part story. It's well worth considering, I'd say. So that wraps that all up. And as I say, it's solely down to you. Right, let's move on to my next choice. This is um, it's sort of a spooky one. But it's, it's not entirely spooky. It has other elements in, to, in it like time travel. It all focusing around World War I and post-World War I. And it's quite a good story actually. The Haunting of Mannequin Place. And it's well worth considering that one. And this one is the first part of a two-part story. Um, very interesting, this one. The past is at war with the future on the same planet. Work that one out. It's a very good two-part story. And it's definitely well worth considering. It's, it's, it's rather an intriguing story, you could say. But it, it, it is a good one. It is definitely a good one. It's a two-parter, as I say. Uh, the Malevan Grave, well, he, well, we know wh where we see them. Uh, was it Destiny of the Daleks? Uh, Tom Baker's second encounter with the Daleks from the, the TV era. Well, yep, we know all about them, don't we? <laughs> now, these three coming up are standalone stories. So we'll start off with the English Way of Death. It's, it's a really quirky, it's a bit bit crazy story involving aliens who have a bit of a taste for brains <laughs> bit weird uh romance of crime is a better one it involves the ogrons in this one and it's quite good actually and there are a few quirky uh remarks made in this uh particular story and as i say yep that's a good one and the best of all three of those ones is the well-mannered war. Two sides are at war with one another on a planet and not a shot has been fired. Well, that is until somebody starts to change the status quo. It's a, it's a good story, that one. As I say, those last three are standalone stories. So, yep, they're worth, worth considering. Okay, now moving on to more recent ones, which mainly is like, um, these are sort of follow-up to, um, blimey, I, I forget, you know when the, the, uh, the fourth Doctor was on his own, uh, that, that favourite episode of mine, and I've completely forgotten it, hang on. Oh yes, the Deadly Assassin, that's when he was on his own. Um, now, these three stories are in box sets, but you can get them separately. Blood of the Time Lords involving the Master. 
Dreams of Avarice involving uh, another mad Time Lord called the Nine. Because of his regeneration personalities are all in his head. And Iced Heist involving the Iced Warriors. Now, as I say, these three are in box sets, but you can get hold of these three stories separately out of the box set. So, there we go, folks. That sort of wraps it up for now. Uh, there could be really another one on its way with another companion. In fact, there will be in due course. I haven't quite finished yet. <laughs> yes, there's going to be a third one. And I think on that note, have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>